do. I don't like how that sounds because it actually sounds like this in my headphones. Anyway, let's uh, dive into Moth House. So this is all about. Oh, we got a note. Dear son, I hope this letter finds you well. I am writing to inform you that I am leaving far from here on an ex on an expedition. Unfortunately, I can't provide a location. I know this may come as a surprise to you, but please understand that this decision was not an easy one. If in a year you do not receive a letter from me, it means that I will not return. I hope that this will not happen, but if I still do not get in touch, then I have a request to you. In the attached letter, there is a list with specific uh, with species of moths. Come to my house and catch at least one of each species and then let them out of my house but it's better if you free them all. With all my love, your dad. I think that's what this is at the bottom anyway. Alright. Alright dad. Let's go into a house full of moths I guess. Oh, I've just got a matchstick, um, and it's very black and white in here. That's a can I not kind of drop the phone? I don't know how freaky this is gonna be because I don't really find moths that scary to be honest with you. But if they're crawling literally inside my headphones, then maybe I might actually give a shit. But anyway, I believe there's three. All right, there's rats in here too. Uh, use control to sneak. Uh, there's only moths in here. Why do I need to sneak around? Are these moths? Ah, they are. Hello, moths. That's a lovely painting of a moth right there. I'm walking into a wall. Uh, right. Use the mouse wheel to switch item. Ah, sweet. Gimme. Hey. Uh, how do I tell which ones I've got? Right, I've got, uh... Okay. I hate that moth down the bottom left. <laughs> Seen one of them before, but... They are, yeah, they're... Can I, like, take them all? That was a pretty close-up uh, picture of a moth right there. How many do I have? Oh, that. It clearly said tab earlier, and I was clicking I like a numpty. Uh, okay. Let's go back here, because there's some moths over here. Is this, is, is this doing a thing? I don't think it is. Do I just release them out of a window, or...? Oh, hello. Uh, there's something to read here. Moths emit, uh, ultrasound as a way of communicating with other moths and detecting their environment. This is, uh, this ultrasound is typically measured in, uh, kilohertz, uh, KHZ. Uh, with an average value of around 30 to 60 k uh, whatever, uh, <laughs> the moth uh, produces the ultrasound by vibrating special organs in the body called tim timbles, timbles. I don't know what that says. Uh, interestingly, they are devices called bat detectors that can capture these ultrasounds, which can help in monitoring moth populations and their behavior. This is because bats, which are natural predators of moths, also use ultrasound to locate their prey, which they do indeed. Right, oh hang on, there's a shiny here. Oh yeah, it's the bat detector. That's locked, okay, good now. Use after power light. Okay. Those are some big ass moths, man. That's a duck. Okay. Or oh, whatever noise you just made. That's actually quite a cute moth. Pick up. Okay. Cook. Oh, maybe something particular for the moths I need to cook? I don't know. Oh, okay. I'm not going to go through that yet. There's also a note here. A lunar moth is a species of moth found in Northern America. It is known for its striking appearances with large pale green wings that have a distinctive shape and pattern. 
the wingspan of the lunar moth can reach up to 11 centimeters that's pretty big uh, making it one of the largest moths in north america the caterpillars of this species is are also striking with bright green bodies and long spiny tails the lunar moth is primarily active at night and feeds on nectar flowers i thought that said nuclear flowers and i was like excuse me what <laughs> but that was just my uh dyslexia being a jeep stop with the crawling in my ears man i do not preach give me all the moths give me all the moths i take it the ones that are flying around aren't capturable unless they are and i'm just being uh is that a moth there it is what's this do oh it's a closet okay i'll explore the rest of this house down here first i think well, I feel like there's going to be like a mount. Ah, here's the uh, weird tentacle ones. There you go, too. Let's look at these guys are found in like damp areas, though. Interesting. Right, no nightmare moths yet. Need a key. Okay. I hope they're not like infinitely respawning. Because I do intend to free all of them. Because it does seem a bit of a shame if they all just stay in here, but. Okay. Right, let's go down this way. Because we haven't got a key or anything, so. Okay, I do seem to be taking the ones in the air as well, so. Come here, my moth boys. And ladies. Alright. I know my sister would not, like, hate this game. Would hate this game because she is absolutely terrified of moths. Give me. I plan to collect you all. Or at least as many of you as I can. So how big is this house? Ooh, look at it. I know, those moths uh, weird me out. They are just absolutely unsettling. Ew. That sounds rather large. That thing sounded bloody huge. Also, that's a lot of moths. I'm going to go investigate that noise. I don't know if I like that. Hello? Alright, don't creep up on me, uh, large moth. That is clearly... Wait, what was that? Can I see notes? No? Okay. Hope I didn't uh, miss anything there. Okay, before I go further, I'm going to wait for this match to fully burn. Well, actually, surely wouldn't that give me... A oh, my God, dude. Pfft, I knew it. I knew there was a, like, human-sized moth in here somewhere. <laughs> Wait, what was that noise? Oh, I still got my moth friend. Wait, I was in a cocoon? Dude, okay. All right, now the amount of moths are kind of freaking me out a little bit. Not because they're scary or nothing like that, it's because I would just hate to step on one of these things. Because when you've got moths about this size and you step on them, they're going to make crunch, crackly, pop. And not the fun kind of crunch, crackly, pop, if that's such a thing. Okay, I don't hope to save them all. Oh. Uh, I've nearly got one of each species by the looks of it. Oh, why did that scare me? I knew there was moths on the wall. Right, okay. Oh, that was that room that was locked. Right, so this is a new room, I believe. Let's turn that out. I can't see anything. Uh, that is a lovely picture of a moth right there. That is actually gruesome. I don't like that. Hi, Paul. It turns out the... Uh, ling... Lingu... Langamoths? I don't know how to say that. Uh, may many abilities, or has many abilities. I'm just reading half a thing now. Besides speaking human languages, they're capable of redacted. So I have to report that I'm going to redacted, redacted. I'm not sure I'll... Oh, I'm not sure I'll be... Ah, there we go. I'm not sure I'll be back from there. But in the name of science, I have to check it out. Redacted. 
I throw held types of moth. I don't know what that says. That is too close to the ink for my right light. Uh, like in, like in, light it. Oh my god, liking is not hard. <laughs> um, oh, maybe it's new types of moths or something like that. I'm not sure, I can't really see in the basement. I hope that while I'm away, the house will not rot from a large number of different moths just in case I'll block the entrance if something happens. Then, uh, hang on. Uh, my issue my help with a clicker one. Why do I feel that like it was not my dad who sent me this letter? Stay quiet. Oh, I hate that. Now I'm good, man. Uh oh. Ah, oh, come on, dude. Okay, let's try this again and not get uh, pinched by the Mothman. Well, it's more of a moth than a man. It's just a giant moth, I suppose, it's not a Mothman. It has no resemblance to a man other than its size. Uh-oh. Oh, I hate this. Right, I haven't found anything. I've just realised I was doing some excellent A tier commentary right there, just like not spe speaking at all. I thought that was the big bad uh, moth uh, creature. Is there any points with it down here other than the save record or? I've got all types of moths yet. No, not quite. I'm missing one, two, three, four. I'm missing four types of moth. Right, okay. Left this bin down and aspirate. Right. I'm sure if I paid enough attention, I wouldn't have to slap around stuff, but. Right, okay. Also, why did... Okay, there's an upper floor. Okay. Save record. Uh oh. Oh dear. I don't want that. To have very much. I hate the way that thing is off in the distance, man. Right, I've got to have some. Ew. No, thank you. I feel like that's all I've said this video is ew. <laughs> in that exact tone. Okay, we're good. Okay, we're not good. Oh, it's the moth meme. <laughs> He's in this game. It's moth. <laughs> Anybody remember that moth meme? Let's see if I can get an example. If I can be asked. Um, anyway, in a truly astonishing discovery, Mason Hart, the well-known moth collector, has discovered a new species of moth that can speak human languages. That's just horrifying in itself, to be honest with you. Well, it's not really horrifying. It's kind of cool, but kind of horrifying. Depends, uh, well, I guess it's cool. Anyway, enough babbling. Uh, Mr. Hart, who has been collecting and studying moths for many years, made the discovery while on collecting, while on a collecting trip in the Amazon rainforest. Of course it's the Amazon bloody rainforest, isn't it? Anyway, the moth, which has a unique pattern and body structure, was observed by Mr. Hart communi uh, communicating in English. This is incredible, this is, this is, Oh, this incredible, I'm just, my reading's just gone out the window, apparently. This incredible discovery has sent uh, shockwaves for the scientific community and has opened up new possibilities for communication with other species. Mr. Hart 
has named the new species Ligma Moth. I don't know how to say that. Ligma Moth. Screw it. <laughs> it's not Ligma Moth at all, but and has placed uh, has pledged to continue studying and protecting this remarkable insect. Interesting. Okay, good old moth meme. Right, okay. Uh, righto. What moths have we got here? Uh, a bun. A bunch. I've even got 277 at one species. Jesus. Uh, right. I think we would need one, which is the white witch moth. If my eyes ain't betraying me. Right, okay. So, it's got, like, pretty white wings. Is there a way to, like, check? No? Oh, shit. Hide? Question mark? No? I think we're good. Right, okay. Did I read this before? Oh, no, I didn't. The... Something... I, I do know how to say that. Well, sorry. I do know what species moth is. I just have no clue how to say that. The Cretinus? Cretinus? Gangus moth is, uh, is a species of moth found in the Southeast Asia, Australia, and parts of Africa. Of course, this monstrosity is found in Australia. Anyway, um, and parts of Africa. It is known for its distinctive appearance with brightly colored hind wings that are covered in a long, fluffy hair like structure called serum. Sem semantia? Don't know. Go with that. Semantia are used by male moths to release pheromones that attract females for mating. This moth also is notably uh, notably for its ability to vary size and shape of its. Oh right, okay. So it acts like a yeah, okay. Um, in response to environmental and social factors, which may play a role in mate selection and competition. Uh -oh. oh, I'm stuck on a couch. Oh, I'm dead. No, please. Oh, this is the, the Comet Moth. Also known as the... Uh, yeah, that. Uh, moon Moth is a species of moth uh, found in Madagascar. It is known for its distinctive appearance with large pale green wings. That have long sweeping tails that resemble the tail of a comet. That makes sense. What's called a comet thingy? Um, moon moth, whatever. Um, <laughs> moving on. Uh, if I could find where I was reading last, comet moth is considered one of the largest silk moths in the world. With a wingspan that can reach up to 20 centimeters, the comet moth is primarily active at night and feeds on nectar of flowers. While it's not considered a significant pest comet moth is highly valued for its beauty and is often sought after by collectors wasn't that lovely oh hello we gotta stop meeting like this pal <laughs> really gotta stop meeting like this so this thing's been said to speak english he doesn't, he doesn't seem very talkative Where's he gone? Oh, he's still coming. Just grab. Oh god, don't get stuck on the lantern. Jesus, do not get stuck on the lantern, please. I don't want to be caught again. No, thank you. Just give me all the moths. Actually, do you. Um... Wait, did he just go to like straight intercept me though? He did as well. What a smart individual. Can you not? I thought I was in then, Jesus. Okay. Wait, we're not to be down here yet. I might not be down here yet. Oh, come on, dude. Wait. Oh, that's the key. Can I read this or is he gonna get me? Right, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read. Just, <laughs> just, <laughs> just wait a minute. You can cuckoo me in a minute. Hold on. Mason Hart, the famous North uh, collector. A moth North collector. Fucking hell. Mason Hart, the famous moth collector, has won the Nobel Prize in Biology for his discovery of the Le Liguana moth. 
a new species of moth that could speak human languages. Uh, look around a moth. <laughs> I'm butchering that every time I say it. I'm pretty sure I'll make up a new word. I've, no, sorry. I'm pretty sure I'll make up a new word every time I say that. The ability to communicate in English have revolutionized the field of biology and opened up a new possibilities for communication with other species. Mr. Hart's dedication and passion for moth collecting and researchers have resulted in this groundbreaking discovery and his work has been recognized as one of the most significant significant contributions to biology biology in recent history i butchered that last bit where you can get me now never mind apparently he didn't want me anymore he's like you take you take too long buddy i can't be asked to listen to your reading so i'm gonna go i don't blame you it's like half the viewers of this video <laughs> Oh, I got one. They were in here all along. Right now, all I gotta do is make a break for it. Also, am I like the only one who finds moth faces like really adorable? Look at that. I love you just for measures. Look how cute he is. Am I the only one? Get it. <laughs> right. Let's dip. And then, like, look at him. He's so cute looking, man. He's on the right somewhere. I'm sure if I run around here long enough, I will find the... Ah, there we go. Never mind. You all expect an to be an ad cut to the exit then. Haha, <laughs> never mind. I'm too smart. I found the exit. Right, okay. Can you don't? Please, thank you. Uh, right. Da -da 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 -da. Right. Let's see what happens then. Leave. I'm pretty sure I got everything. I haven't betrayed myself. Uh, what? No, four, eight, three, nine, two, or three. Wait, what? What's going on here? Oh, off to go. Be free. Like, I definitely didn't caught catch that little of moths. Be free, my friends. Nice. The Moth House. Nice one. Right. So I'm going to leave this episode here. I did only get one of the ending, um, endings. I'm pretty sure this game has multiple. But um, I'm completely and uh, utterly out of time for this uh, game, unfortunately. So there will be a link in the description if you want to play the game yourself. And feel free to let me know in the comments. Uh, how you get the other endings even if you know and if you don't that's cool because at least we got one of the endings eh and i'm pretty sure it's the right one because we freed all the moths happy days so um thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you guys whatever the hell comes up next have a good one